What's going on, y'all? It's your, it's your, it's your boy, Brandon. Hey, look, dog. I want you motherfuckers to remember this, bro. If you don't remember anything else I say, even if y'all don't believe the spiritual stuff I be talking about, the alpha stuff I be talking about, bro, you as a man, you can never, ever, ever, ever do this shit, bro. This is probably the worst shit that can happen to you. Well, actually, it's a close second, bro. First thing, if you shoot a motherfucker, if your ass go to jail for the rest of your life, bro, you're pretty much fucked, bro. You have no freedom. But this is illegal enslavement of men. Bro, please do not get married, bro. Like, I made a video on this shit a few months ago about why men shouldn't get married in 2020. But I keep getting these fucking stories about guys in marriages becoming literal fucking slaves, bro. Motherfuckers is turning into slaves. Look, bro, I went to my grandma's house, bro, and she's a foster mom. So she got a little baby and she got like a 13-year-old kid, right? So... At my house, my little cousin was there. She's like 13. And what happens is she lives in like Dallas area and she'll come out to California for the summer to see her dad. So I'm like, okay. So she came over, she visited, she left. And I'm like, all right. So she left. And then she came back like two days later. I'm like, why the fuck you back here? And my grandma told me that my uncle, his fucking stepdaughter runs the fucking house and bro i'm just like wait wait hold up hold up hold up hold up the chick is like 16 15 years old and he said she told me that he told my grandma that she runs the fucking house he can't tell his shit and that he don't want to go to jail for this bitch and i'm like yo but hold up you make all the fucking money he's a truck driver bro he make dumb bread and he's a fucking truck driver and he be making all the money so i'm like wait hold up bro this little motherfucker got the audacity to tell me a grown... And I'm, I'm talking from his perspective. This little motherfucker got the audacity to tell me a grown-ass man paying my bills done buy every motherfucking uh, piece of food on the motherfucking table for your ass what I can do in my fucking house? The fuck is wrong with this motherfucker, dog? And it's funny because her mom, his, his wife, my step aunt, if you want to call it like that, she work at fucking, like, like a fucking arts and crafts store making minimum wage. She ain't making shit, bro. <laughs> Nigga, my uncle made all the motherfucking money. And he's like, and she was talking about, he's telling, he told my grandma that when he goes to work, he not going to come home for a few days because he don't want to even be home. So my uncle, bro, the dude who making all the money, he can't even enjoy his own house. And you know why? Because he's fucking married. And if he gets divorced, she going to take half his shit. This, he make like three, four, five, shit, maybe even six times more than her. And she controls him. Bro, you know it's even worse, bro? Like a couple weeks ago, I was doing my MMA stuff. Y'all know I've been training, bro. If y'all follow me on IG, y'all see my little workouts and shit. And, bro, what happened was my trainer was like, yeah, you know, one of my clients, he had to reschedule so I could I could work out with you. I'm like, for real, what happened? He's like, well, you know, my client, um, his best friend got COVID. I'm like, oh, for real? That sucks, bro. He's like, yeah, he's not sick, but his wife said that he can't come home. <laughs> his wife told him he couldn't go home because she thinks that his best friend has COVID. So this nigga had to go and check in a hotel, bro. So I'm like, all right, so I mean, I get that, but whose house is it? Is it hers or is it his? He's like, oh, it's his. I'm like, so does he pay for all the bills or does she pay for all the bills? He's like, oh, he pays for all the bills. And I'm like, all right. So why the fuck is this man not able to go to his fucking house, bro? You killing me. I pay for all the motherfucking bills and I don't got COVID. But because you think I got COVID, my ass got to go to a fucking hotel. Like, bitch, I can't rest my head on my own bed. I got to go to a hotel and get bed bugs and all this shit. Sleeping with homeless niggas in a motel. All because I'm married. And you're like, oh, well, you know, he told her that it was for the kids. and keeps the children safe. Okay, I get that. But motherfucker. If it's my motherfucking house, I'm going to get quarantined in my fucking bed. I don't give a fuck how good your pussy is. I don't care how fat your ass is or how big your titties is. You got me fucked up if you think I'm not going to be sleeping in my own fucking bed. And, bro, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. When you motherfuckers get married and you sign that contract, you have signed your life away. You have signed your soul away. There are a few great men who don't have to deal with that bullshit. But I guarantee you, 90 to 95% of these motherfuckers in marriages is miserable for these three reasons. One, the female got all fucking control. Two, she has all control of your financial responsibility. And three, bro, you can't do shit. You can't do shit, bro. <sighs> bro, look, man. 
all y'all motherfuckers need to share this video, bro. Share it with your dad, your grandpa, your uncle, bro. I want you to share it with everybody. Everybody. Every man on earth, bro. Because, dog, you are going to become a fucking slave. Or like my boy Chronicles of Judah says, you're going to become a motherfucking indentured servant. Hey, look, ladies, if you're watching this video on this camera and you say, oh, bro, pretty boy Fleezy looking good on camera, don't you dare ask me for a ring. Because you know what I'm going to say? Get you a motherfucking ring pop. So, look, man, I hope you enjoyed the video, bro. If y'all did, smash that thumbs up button, comment down below. And if you're new, subscribe to your boy. I'm out this motherfucking man.